In 1269, Petrus Peregrinus, a medieval scholar and soldier, wrote his famous letter on the magnet. While he was a member of the army of the King of Sicily laying siege to Lucera in southern Italy. In this document, he stated for the first time that magnets have two poles, which he called the North and the South Pole. A normal magnet like this one always has two poles, South and North. And if I break it into two pieces, like this, those pieces still have the same two poles, North and South. A magnetic monopole is a hypothetical elementary particle that has a, just a single magnetic pole, either north or south. The bold suggestion that we should take the existence of the magnetic monopole seriously and start to search for it was made by Pierre Curie in 1894, making the quest for the magnetic monopole 120 years old. It was Paul Dirac who in 1931 first proposed a magnetic monopole within the framework of quantum mechanics. Dirac envisioned the magnetic monopole as the end of an infinitely long, infinitely thin solenoid called a Dirac string. Magnetic monopoles, once only strongly suggested by Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism, are now actually required in grand unified theories that seek to unify the electromagnetic weak and strong fundamental forces. Likewise, modern theories of everything, like string theory and M-theory, predict the existence of monopoles. In 2012, something wonderful happened. The discovery of the Higgs boson was announced at the European Centre for Nuclear Physics Research. We think of the Higgs boson as being a sort of doorway to new physics. Now, we don't know exactly what that new physics is, and that will be the other major challenge for the LHC in the coming years. The discovery of the Higgs boson, the last piece of the standard model puzzle, opens a new horizon of exciting discoveries beyond the standard model, such as that of the magnetic monopole. We have been searching for the magnetic monopole for over 80 years. We believe the reason it has not been discovered is that its mass is so large, over 1,000 times that of a proton, but the Large Hadron Collider, operating at unprecedented energies at CERN in Switzerland, can create such massive particles. METAL, the newest and magnificent seventh experiment operating at the Large Hadron Collider, is specifically designed to search for the magnetic monopole. The metal detector, much of which you will see assembled before your eyes here, is located 100 meters underneath the French countryside at point 8 on the LHC ring. METAL is totally different to other LHC experiments. First, it acts like a giant camera surrounding the collision point, with nuclear track detectors as its film, and sensitive only to new physics such as a magnetic monopole. Secondly, it is capable of actually capturing monopoles for further study in the laboratory. The LHC is indeed the Lord of the Rings, which takes protons that start as hydrogen gas up to a full beam energy of 7 trillion electron volts. Bunches of counter-rotating protons hurtle at near to the speed of light to collide and recreate the conditions only seen before a million millionth of a second after the Big Bang. It is then that something wonderful can happen. For example, the creation of a monopole-antimonopole -monopole pair conjured out of the deepest depths of the microcosm. Discovery of the magnetic monopole would have revolutionary significance for our understanding of the universe. It would be at least as important as the discovery of the Higgs boson. Humanity has exploited the power of the electron to build modern civilization and light up the world. It is certain that we could expect at least as much from the electron's brother, the magnetic monopole.